So I just want to show you um, this RAE gear sheath. Um, I was very excited to get it. I thought, uh, based on other reviews, I thought this was going to be quite amazing. But um, I have to say there's uh, a few things that I wish... I've really only used this for one week. I bought it several months ago. I stopped using it within literally within seven days. Um, I know a lot of people are really hard on these sheets. Um, I know they could be better as well from Leatherman. But there's these are cheap and they actually do a reasonable job. This idea is really cool. I just think it could have some improvements. So I know there's a lot of amazing reviews about how amazing this is. That's why I bought it. Um, but I just don't feel that way. So I'll show you why. And I think it can be improved quite easily. Like these little things, like the, the powder coating or whatever they use, it, it wore off pretty fast. And one of the things that, which is no big deal, I don't really care about that. But uh, I like to use one of these clips. I love these clips because they always keep their springiness and they're they're it's really good for your pocket if you if you don't have a belt or whatever you just want it in your pocket quick and you don't feel like using this. Regardless, the first thing I did was put it on and I put this in. As soon as you put that in there, it's wedged. It so that you cannot have that on with that. So you, if you put it upright like that, it, it went, I put it in there just lightly. I have to be real careful because this tension on here is so tight. It wedged in there so tight, I had to get a punch to get it out. That's how much tension was on this. But clearly I, I can't have to remove this if I want to use this. Which to me, if they if you just took that into account because a lot of guys like these things this is a really nice feature the other huge huge two other things i really don't like this one i use this thing all the time I, it's i literally constantly use the surge um and i also use these bits yeah it comes with a bit holder for one the the full kit is two and this holds two no problem. So yeah, this boasts a smaller profile, but it's also, it doesn't hold as much. And if this was literally just a touch bigger, you could, you could get a second one in there, but you can't. But I could live with that even, but my biggest fault is this clip to me, you know, I don't, you know, I hate to be so critical because it is a decent design. I just think it could be better. This clip is, in my opinion, garbage. Within one week, this thing kept falling off. So if you're working on something, it literally, like that, the tension on that clip is so loose. I didn't bend it. I didn't, this is, literally came from in the mail this way. So, I mean, I suppose I could force bend it and put a kink in it. That might, but if they if they put a little, uh, if they change the design on this, put a, either a magnet or a stronger clip so that the tension is a little more of an arc on there, so it it really wants to force closed, and then you just, you know, something much better like this design here, like like that clip, it would be so much better. But the fact that when you're using these tools, you have them, and you know these are not cheap. It would be so easy to lose that whole thing and not even know you lost it. If you're working on a, you know, if you're working on your side somewhere, you're working on uh, anything. It takes nothing to, to really, I'm not even putting any tension on there and the thing is slipping right off. So I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in it. Uh, the shipping was quite expensive. The, the unit itself wasn't so bad, but kind of the shipping was quite high so overall it it was a pricey thing to only get a week out of it anyway i don't know maybe they'll consider improving it better clip here 
trim this out a touch and um, that way you can slide that bad boy in there and then uh, do something with that because one of these it makes you have to make a choice between the two and uh, I don't like that I like to have all my tools with me um, the other one I wish somebody would design again is it came out a few years ago as a as a prototype there was a guy that had these as a belt buckle so it was like this I can't even find it anymore but it was and it was like a magnetic it was similar clip to this but magnetic and the magnet would hold uh, which would be a, an amazing design so uh, I've thought of building one myself, but if you did this same kind of idea, a magnet so that at least the magnet gives a secondary uh, backup so that if this failed or got bent or was loose over time, your magnet would also hold that in there. So you just would physically have to push it out, but then you always, always have it on your belt buckle. So that was a cool idea, but um, there was prototypes made and then it never went to production for some reason. So maybe somebody else will copy it and do that one day. Anyway, yeah. So I know it had a lot of really great reviews. I just wanted to show you some of my concerns with this one.